Hello friends, welcome to Databricks video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to give you how to register community edition. So nowadays, most of the developers are facing issues uh, while registering community edition. And even Databricks side also, they change some UI and they change the process as well. And even I observed from past one week or two weeks, many developers, they lost their workspace. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, what's happened in background, but uh, most of the developers, they lost their workspace. Lost their workspace means whatever they created, notebooks, everything they lost. So always better to create a, uh, take a backup of your, whatever you do in a community edition. And better to go with the backup accounts, like uh, you create two, two accounts and merge those two accounts, workspace IDs. If you lost one workspace ID, you will be having another workspace ID. Or take a backup. So at least to take a backup and to directly enter that workspace in the DBC file then uh, you won't miss anything so at least while loading the new things right so when you try something then you save some notebooks if you lost those very difficult to retrieve this so let's start uh, how to register community edition and how to use that community edition if you go to databricks.com there the left side you can find this try databricks so click on this url and it will be routed to one application form there you need to enter the details uh, enter your personal details and uh, use uh, mail id which is gmail id personal email id professional is not required just you can go with the personal email id and title data engineer phone number is optional once you click on this click on this get started for free and uh, you'll it will be routed to another page and before that the verification window will come so here 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 2 14 a verification done then we get a email so once you click on this you'll get an email right so click on this you'll get an email notification yeah thanks so, so you can verify your email just i'm going to verify my email so i got an email so here just click on this link and it will be routed to another page then reset the password that's all so i'm done i have done so resetting password is done so what you can do so go to your uh, settings uh, user settings and there uh, uh, when it comes to if you want to change password you can change password here okay and uh, here your workspace like if you have a old workspace uh, if how you will take a backup the entire folder folder the shared folder or maybe user folder take a backup like this take a backup like this dbc dbc archive file so that's in, even if you have a users so directly right click export this so always take a backup then when it comes to admin console so even you can add another user so even you can add another user then if you have some other user which is, if you already have some workspace you can add that user so you just send an email then you will receive an email up to five users you can add here up to five users so at least you will have a multiple user accounts multiple user accounts related to the community edition so always better to take a backup entire shared workspace or the user workspace you can take a backup then you don't need to worry about if again you can create another account or you can import wherever you want you can import wherever you want. thanks thanks for watching my videos thank you very much all the best